Hi, my name is Kylie and welcome to my studio. Today is going to be so much fun because for our quick craft, we're going slow. We're slowing down to make a sloth. One of my favorite creatures and we are going to make a no sew, hot glue only, sock and felt little stuffed animal sloth. I am so excited to show you how to do this, but first I want to go to my friend Jake, who is going to tell us some facts about one of his favorite animals, the sloth. Jake, take it away. Hi Kylie and friends, my name is Jake. I heard you were making a sloth crap today and I love sloths. This is my favorite sloth toy, his, his name is Robert. He's a Cabbage Patch doll. I also read about sloths and paint sloths. Here are three sloth facts. One, sloths are the slowest mammal. Two, sloths move so slow that they grow allergy on them. Three, sloths spend 70% of their time sleeping. Well, Kylie, I can't wait to make this craft with you. Bye. Jake, thank you so much. I learned some amazing facts about sloths. And now we're gonna make one. What you need for this project are six socks. They don't have to match and they don't have to be any special kind of sock, though these long socks that I bought in the men's department do seem to work very well. I'm using some felt to make the face and claws on my sloth, but this is totally optional. I'm also using some googly eyes, we love googly eyes, and just a little, 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 little bit of fabric paint. All right, let's get started. Our first sock is going to be the sloth's body, and we're actually going to start with his hips and his back leg. Lay one sock nice and flat. Do you see this end seam down here? Right under that, we're gonna make two small cuts. This is where the bottom legs of our sloth are going to go. So I just made them right here. Now we're gonna make the legs. Take one pair of socks, so two socks, and tie a knot with the whole foot part. So from toe to heel, you're gonna tie a big knot. Great. Now, you're going to put this whole thing inside of the sock that we cut the holes in. And then these parts, which will become the bottom legs, are gonna go out through the holes that we cut. Check it out. One leg. All right. Now you're going to put that knot all the way at the bottom. There! Now we have the body of the sloth and the legs of the sloth. The next thing I'm going to do is just stuff the tummy of the sloth a little bit more with one more sock. Roll it up and put it in here. Now we have the body sock with part of the body and the bottom legs. We're gonna put that down just for one second so that we can put together the arm socks. With one arm sock going to the left, fold the toe up to the heel. Then do the same thing, but in the opposite direction with the other arm sock going to the right. Now put this whole pile right up against the body on the body sock. Then we're gonna tie a knot with the body sock. So the body sock is wrapping all the way around the arm socks and we're gonna pull it really tight, as tight as we can. Great. So now we have the body sock tied around both of the arms. This is the most fun part. We're gonna take the body sock, turn it inside out, and cover up that whole knot. That is what is going to make the head of our sloth. Oh, you're gonna be so cute! Now we're gonna make the paws for our sloth. So I'm gonna fold over the arm, and then 
I'm going to turn the very end inside out. Do you see how I included the fold? If you're a grown up, this is a little bit like pegging your jeans, if you remember that. Not that I do. <laughs> do it one more time, and then that will stay there, kind of like a little knot, and it looks like a little paw. Repeat that on all the arms and legs. Now it's time to put on the felt decorations for our sloth. I already cut out our shapes, but I'll show you how it's gonna work. First, I cut out an oval with a little dip in it, kind of like a bean. Next, I cut out two shapes that look a little bit like commas that are going to go like this, right on the sloth's face. I cut them out of a darker brown. Then I'm gonna put on the googly eyes. You could paint or draw these on if you didn't have googly eyes. And then I cut out some brown felt to put over the top of the googly eyes just so the sloth looks a little more tired and chilled out. Cool, I'm gonna paint on the nose and the smile. And then I did a rectangle and then I cut little triangles into it. I made four of those to glue inside the sloth's hands and feet. Got my hot glue all warmed up. You'll see that when we rolled these, it left a little pocket. That's where I'm gonna put in my felt claws. Put a little hot glue in then just tuck your felt claw right in. Perfect. Repeat. Time for his face. fabric paint to paint the nose and a little sloppy smile. He's done! The sloth is done. Hi, buddy! <laughs> You're awesome. I hope you enjoyed making this quick craft with me today and I hope you enjoy making your own sock sloth or sock whatever. I would love to see what you come up with. If your grown-ups have Instagram or Facebook, they can follow me there. And if you want to make more art with me and see longer episodes, just search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Grown-ups educators, I have a website and I have lots of resources on there for you too. Just search for KylieMakesIt.com. I'll see you next time.